Yeah, this is when Isaku kneels his head down and uh, it's good to see you, clan leader. Yes, whatever. Uh, so, why are the humans still here? We don't usually leave, you know, um, survivors during these hunts. Now, do we? Uh, they're not a threat. Hmm. Perhaps not. Well, we can talk about this later. From what I can tell, yes, you... You are all adults now. But... Only one of you have shown to have a, even an inkling of intelligence. Kai... Not only did you let your guard down, it caused you to get impregnated by a xenomorph. Just burst her. And gave birth to an abomination. Though, yes, you did dispatch of it. It doesn't negate the fact that you had disarmed yourself. And you required help to finish it off after being saved from dying. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Bash. Yes. You are the leader of this hunting party. At least you were until you let your arrogance and jealousy over your younger brother cloud your judgment and make such stupid mistakes. Uh, but uh, I, uh... <sighs> you didn't even try to save Kai at all. You just saw it as another potential opponent. We've taught you how to remove a xenomorph. No. There were two ways. Easy. Yes. What were they? We could either cut them out or we punch them out. Yes. But what did you do? I... left. Exactly. Left your brother to die when he could have been saved. That is truly dishonorable and should make you... no, a candidate for exile. Abandoning your brother when they could be saved is inexcusable. You, young Izuku, you did quite well. Not only did you take out more than your required xenomorph, you actually did end up taking down an abomination. And for that, you do deserve the right to be considered an adult, as well as the right to leave your own hunting party. You do know your human origins. That does seem to have clouded your judgment when it comes to dealing with the ones who are still around. You didn't 
leave them to become future prey. Instead, you decide to let them live. An interesting, but understandable choice. Well, I... They knew who I was before, you know, they were watching. Believe me, your mother was very concerned about your well-being. As well as this revelation that someone has ties to your past and potential birth family. Oh. So she... She's fine. Just surprised. It's not every day that you learn that someone out there knows who the son belongs to. What? But I. I'm just curious. Yes, there's nothing wrong with curiosity. Remember, curiosity can cause your death and risk the lives of many others. I think no one truly knows about the extraterrestrial life. Ugh. I cannot make you kill them. I will not have you dissolve yourself by such a means. You are an adult and you can make your own decisions as of now. You have fought honorably and you have also given your brothers a chance to regain theirs despite their mistakes. You will be the leader of the three of you. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Why is this half pint gotta lead us? Man, he's the weakest out of us. Are you saying that because he's human or because you're butt hurt? I. I, uh... Seriously. It's... You just disappoint me, Bash. You are my brother's clan, but you seem to forget our ways. Maybe you should be re-educated. If you do not want your younger brother to leave, then you need to take the spot back. Challenge him and win. Yeah, then again, you would have to say yes to the challenge. And we would have to make it a... Uh, mm -hmm. It'll be a nice little affair. But at the moment, you are all tired. It require rest. So for the time being, let's go home. Wait, is it good? What is it? I don't want to go yet. Excuse me. I I want a chance to actually get to know my human side. Really? Yes. Very well. Before you say, wait, what? 
Well, even though you did go through hybridization, you still have your human side to consider. And even though, yes, we should limit our contact with humans, you have proven yourself to make sound decisions, even under pressure. So you may go. Only thing is, you cannot bring your gear with you. You have to leave it in your scout ship. I understand. Wait, wait, I don't have a scout ship. You do now. You've earned it. Like I said, you have earned the right to lead a hunting party. But that does not mean you have to hunt with them. Are you saying? Yes, you can also go on solo hunts. Really? Uh, what? That's not fair. What about us? Ash, you and Kai need to go back into training and unwind after this situation. So, you can uh, stop acting like a little bitch and get on the mothership. I. Uh, yes, sir. All right, he's a girl. Before you go with those humans, you're gonna have to pick out your ship. Oh. Um. If, I, if it's all the same to you, I. Like to pick one later? No. In fact, your mother would like to have a chat with you. Ah. Mm. Understood. Um, but uh, what about? Yeah, they are allowed to live. As long as they don't try to expose us. Then again, if they do try, who's going to believe them? Right? Good point, Zen Leader. Good. Now. <laughs> Let's go see your mother. Like, I do believe we have much to discuss. So when he does arrive, he does notice a change in demeanor when it comes to his Yaja Mama. So you want to go back to the humans? Well, uh, not precisely that. More like I want to get to know my human side, that's all. See what I missed out on, potentially. Oh. Is that all? Yeah, it, it makes sense. Why would you want to stay with... The people who basically kidnapped you. But hey, actually, no, no, you saved me. That's what you did. Right? Without your interference, who knows? I probably would have been dead. Hmm. You're just saying that. Come on, man. Look. I don't know if 
if my parents are actually around, around, I do know that there's a potential chance that someone was there looking for me on Earth, not knowing where I was, not knowing that you got kidnapped by aliens. No, that I was saved by aliens. Yeah, sure. Would you like to go with me? I thought you would never ask. When are we leaving? I need a scout ship. Oh, say no more. I already had one picked out for you. What? Yeah, I told the clan leader about it and everything. And considering our vast knowledge on humans. <laughs> You're kidding. So when I was going to go choose my scholarship, you technically didn't have a choice. The one I modified would have been the only one on the lot. Wait, modifications for scout ships take a hell of a long time if they're too far from the standard. How long have you been? Oh, a long time. What if I would have died? Impossible. Did you do the same for Kai and Banshee? Of course. But well, I might just have them torn apart for scrap, considering how they behaved. Especially Bash. Uh, you can't give him the ship. If anything, it will probably give him a chance to cool his head. Yeah. So, let's go to Earth. Right. Uh, to the ship, I guess. As soon as you arrive on Earth, Izuku is a bit hesitant to actually. Like, okay, Melissa Shield, uh, you said to meet you here, here I am. Of course, he did perimeter scanning, which, yet there is no one suspicious in the bushes or anything. Right now, just waiting to see if things are gonna go to shit. Luckily, no. Unless it does show up with a very well endowed one in a suit. Who this? Uh, this is Inka Midoriya. She's one of the top 50 heroes. As well as working alongside my dad. Oh, wait. Heroes. You're you're a hero. As Ingo, she doesn't talk. She's just staring at Izuko, who is wearing his armor, especially his bio mask. First, she's skeptical until she starts seeing the hints of green mixed in with the black. Her walking up to Izuku. Him towering over her. She reaches for his biomass, about to take it off. Him stopping her. But also not wanting to let go of her hand. 
and this is when he takes off his bio mask, showing off those pearly emerald eyes. And yes, Eco, she tackles him with a hug, crying over how scared she was to possibly never see him again. And this is when we get something from Inko's perspective. The day that she had Izuku, she was exhausted. She was happy to finally give birth her, her kid. One thing is, there was an incident involving villains and, of course, Izuku's way home. While Inko was in the hospital, she did get the news that not only did the people who were supposed to send Izuku home to Zashi dead, but the ones who did it are also dead. And Izuku seemed to be carried off by an invisible force. And of course, she didn't believe it until she actually did see what little footage there was. So she pretty much devoted herself from being a housewife to a full-blown hero. Pretty much training herself enough so she knows that she can definitely do some damage. Even her weak quirk is nothing to be underestimated. Considering she can draw objects towards herself, usually very small objects. Imagine her... <laughs> Taking something as small as a tiny pebble and flinging it towards you using her quirk at an increased speed. Because even though, yes, it is to attract small objects, they didn't say anything about the maximum speed at which she could do such a thing. This causing her to actually be quite the gunslinger even though yes she did become a hero she never forgot the fact that she's still missing a son so she does end up looking for Isuku everywhere she can think of to find this invisible work user so she thought so she went on a war path with villains who could turn invisible. And seeing the brute force and the complete and utter brutality in which those men were slaughtered, she definitely didn't want to pull no punches. And this is about the time when Izuku was i say seven. So, half of his life, Hinko was on a warpath looking for Izuku. While the other half, she spent time trying to find ways to locate him without her potentially getting her hero license revoked. Which is when she met David Shield, as well as his daughter. They did end up finding a lot of missing children due to kidnapping, but still no Zuku. Made her depressed and especially putting a strain on her mental state, which luckily Hazashi, Melissa, even David, they did end up making it so she didn't feel so alone. Making her feel more like She's gonna find her son. Come hell or high water. And just to see him. Not only alive and well, but a lot bigger than he should possibly be at such an age. She just had nothing but questions. And this is when he says, okay, mom, maybe you should show yourself. I 
as you can imagine. And goes like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm right here. You got your mama uncloaks. And walks to Izuku and he goes, nice to meet you. I'm the invisible force that um, saved your son. This is where Inko pulls out two dual lizard eagles and starts blasting on her. He's screaming, yelling, saying, You stole my son from me. You took away all the time. I can never get back. I went on warpath because of you stealing him from me. And even though, yes, Inko is aiming for the armor, you can feel that she really wants to kill Yajimamo Izuku is shocked at this, but also like one thing I've been taught is not to get in the middle of a woman's fight. So as soon as Iko runs out the bullets on both magazines, she just falls to her knees saying, why would you steal my son? How could you take away all the precious moments that were supposed to be mine? You experienced everything of his that I was supposed to be there for. His first steps, his first words, you took that away from me. And yeah, Zuku is feeling like mom she saved me what yeah those traffickers were going to end up selling and or killing me she saved me though yes she didn't know about you and you know she decided to raise me as her own Look, I'm here now, Mom. But she wanted to be here too, so she could apologize. And I guess her way of apologizing is letting you shoot her. One thing is, she didn't expect you to only aim for the armor. But as Zuko starts looking, he notices the dents are actually very... Huh. Wait, why were you shooting there? And then Zuko starts seeing cracks in the armor and wondering, oh my god, you... Wow, you were trying to... Yeah, it happens. I've gotten very good at firearms. Well, um, Miss Inko, call me mom. Okay, mom. Here's the thing. You threatened her. You open fire, so technically she has every right to whoop your ass. Excuse me? You pretty much challenged her and... It's kind of dishonorable if you, if you, if you don't fight it out. Are you saying I had to fight that? You're the one that shot first. Oh. Today is not my day, is it? I finally see my son after so long and now I had to fight. You know what? Fine. Well, fine. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, you serious? Yes. What? In fact, if I win, you stay on Earth. 
permanently. What? And if she wins, you can she can just do whatever. Whatever. I don't Mom, you, you don't understand. Uh, I came here because I wanted to. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Mom? Yeah. You ready for this? Uh, trust me, this isn't the only female that's challenged me for a guy. Wait, really? Oh yeah, never doubt your mom. Or anything. I can use the exercise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You win, mom. Yeah. When you guys want to have this little altercation. I'm I'm ready to do it now. Really? Yes. Wow. You... <laughs> I, I did not anticipate this. Um, uh, Yaja Mama? Yeah. yeah. This can be fun for me anyway. Don't worry, I'm getting rusty. Never thought I would have to fight for my son, though. You go hearing the word son is instantly pissed, in which he grabs two more pistols. Of course, Izuku's wondering, what the hell, where'd you... I am a pro hero. Who uses guns? Do not ask questions you do not want the answer to. Hmm. I have confused feelings because this is a so you gonna end up being badass or terrifying. I kind of confused and wondering who's gonna win. Of course, when they do actually start fighting, Inko unloads a hail of bullets. Luckily, Yajimo does end up either dodging, cloaking, and backhanding poor poor Inko. Who? Oh yes, that hurts. She is not backing down. She's determined to spend time with her son. Come hell or high water, she is gonna make up for lost time. And I miss the slashing gunfire, as well as frequent curse words. Yeah, it's safe to say that Izuku is both impressed but also scared of his moms thinking they're doing this to each other over me I would hate to actually get on their bad sides as soon as it is over and go she doesn't win though so, you know, John is heavily injured the the multitude of gunshot wounds Yaoja can really take one for a ton of a beating and yeah Inko has an attraction quirk she doesn't have no real muscle augmentation quirk so you can imagine he is devastated at her loss He's worried she's going to lose her son again after finally being able to see him. <laughs> but as you can imagine, Yaoja Mama doesn't want to do that. Heck, she came here to pretty much talk to Inko, get to know her. Like, yeah, it turns out I, I didn't know anything about you before, so yeah, yeah. I raised your son for you. I was worried for his safety. Yada yada yada. Ego, accepting your loss, said, Okay, so what do you want to do? Well, I want him to get to know you better and for you to be his mom alongside me. 
What? Yeah. Oh, Tiggy's a good away from you. Again. But still. He's my son, too. I raised him. Because I didn't have him. True, but still. There's enough love for the both of us. You're serious. Yep. <laughs> so I really did all this for nothing. All the training, all the searching for nothing just for you, just to bring him back. Out of the blue. Well, if you feel stupid, he waited 14 years before he asked if he was adopted. What? You can look at Zoo like, what the hell? You... Look at her! Yeah. And look at you! Uh huh. You told me you weren't suspicious at all. I didn't care if she was the one raising me. Because she took you from me. Hey. It wasn't her fault. She protected me. Yes, but she could have at least given you to the authorities or something. Uh... What? I'm just saying, we're not really supposed to be interacting with too many humans. Have you not seen the type of people who live on this planet? You would not stick out nearly as much as you would have if it was before works. If it was before quirks, yes. And even then, you could have just said it was some cosplay, you know, a costume, Halloween, you're celebrating early. You know. But now? With the. <laughs> the wide range of people who live on this planet. <laughs> Well, frankly, we just don't want uh, too much interference from our part. Interference! <laughs> you stole my son and raised him! Okay, yeah. But in my defense, yeah, 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 you, you, you saved him from people kind of yada yada yada. I get that, but still, I would have loved to see his first steps, to hear his first words. What were they, by the way? Excuse me? What were his first words? You don't want to know. Oh, yes, I do. You really don't. Yes, I do. Tell me, what was my son's first words? Yes. No, tell me. Don't play me. Don't play my emotions. His first words were, uh, Mama. Mm. Oh, really? Ta. Ah. I told you didn't want to know. No, it's okay. It's okay. Hmm. Oh, his first words. That's nice. <sighs> yeah, good to know. That's 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 wonderful. So, uh, anything else I should know about my son's development? Well, um, eh, the first steps and whatnot aren't that important. 
<laughs> How dare you? Huh? How dare you say that they aren't important? That is a very serious milestone. Any parent would just love to be a part of. Okay, yeah, you got me. I, I was so happy when you started walking. I was just trying my best not to make you more upset. Well, oh, thank you for trying to spare my feelings. Anything else? Well, his first kill was a interesting subject. What was it? Well, I want him to have some, you know, uh, ties to his home planet. So I actually found, uh, what you oh, a grizzly bear. What? Yes. One of his first kills was a grizzly bear. How old was he? Uh, let me see. Eight. What? Yeah, he was eight years old. How how did he? Well, it wasn't easy for for sure. If anything, it it could have been a whole lot worse. What? Oh yeah. If anything, he's lucky to be alive. You see, he lost not only his wrist blades, but he also lost his combi stick. What? Yes. So he had he to outmaneuver the bear. He knew he couldn't outrun it. He knew he couldn't overpower it, per se. So what he did was grab the nearest vine, wrap it around his neck, and strangle it to death. What? Oh yes, it was glorious. I felt so proud. No, 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 no. Tell me, tell me you lie. My, my son. You turned him into a complete. I turned him into a hunter. And I am so proud. He shouldn't have to be a... He should be worried about being a normal kid. Well, technically in our culture, you would... That's not what I meant. He's earth-grown. So he should be... Having a normal earthling childhood. But he has so much fun hunting. You've indoctrinated him! That may be true. But he still chose to come here. Of course! He, he's probably trying to get away from the craziness. Well... What is it? Please, son, t t tell her, please. Tell her I'm right. Really, I was just curious to see if I actually had any living family members. And plus, I, knowing that, yes, I am in fact human, I was very interested in the potential of coming back home. Hope we can find some. <laughs> Worthy prey. Excuse me? Oh, yes. You see, yes, humans are known for their cunning ingenuity and yada yada yada. That was the old humans. These new humans with these quirks, these abilities. 
And it started feeling a little tingly. Good Lord, what have you done to my son? I gave him something wonderful. I gave him training. I gave him love. And really, he seems pretty happy. Well, first things first, you're coming with me, and we are giving you a haircut. <laughs> the hell you are? Excuse me? You are not cutting my dreads. Why? Okay, fine. How about we uh, just take hair down, get clean, and go redo them? So I can do Oh, that's right, you're not about it. You see, these, this is my hair, but it's also not my hair. Uh, kind of like sensory, you know, no, uh, uh, they're, they're literally a part of me. If you cut them, I will bleed. How? Oh, you're human! Half, or at least partially. What? I went through the hybridization process. Hybrid. Wait, so you? Ugh, I'm pretty much saying I have more in common with my Yaja Mama now than just her upbringing. No. Yep. You're joking. Nope. I'm not fully human anymore. Why? Why? She just looks at like, Yelja Mama and I was like, why did you do this? I didn't do this. This was his choice. What? What? Yeah. I... I wanted to be hybridized. If anything, learning that I was human in the first place. Yeah, I at least want to keep some of my human aesthetic. Wait, so you you don't have the mandibles? Yeah, then that is easily visible. Plus, I still have some growing up to do. Oh, oh, oh no, no. Oh, where did I go wrong? What do you mean? You, you didn't raise me at all. You wasn't even there. Hmm. Fair point. So, you're not human anymore. I'm still human, and I just have less human DNA. If anything, I probably would have been full of Yautra if I didn't learn I was adopted. <sighs> yeah, that could have been that could have been an interesting turn of events. Wow. I I just can't believe it. My son is part alien. Huh. Well, uh, at the very least, uh, would you like to meet your father? Mm, uh, sure, but not now. If anything, Mom. Yes? Not, not you. Oh, yes, I guess, yes, you, but you and Yajabama need to get healed. Ugh, if anything, it's going to be a pain in the arse to explain this. Uh, if anything, uh, I guess I'll be on my way. 
I need to relax a little bit. Uh, and mom, it, it's good to see you. You know, you know, or at least it's good to meet you. Yeah. No, that's done. Um, what are your plans? Uh, well, technically, I would be considered an adult, and as well as part of the clan. And if anything, I probably just go on more hunts. And no, 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 no. What? What do you mean? Listen, I love you. Yes, you are my son, and yes, I have a lot of making up to do when it comes to, you know, time and whatnot, but still, you are getting an education. I already know everything I need to know. Really? You know how to count? Oh, right. Uh, yes. In languages other than Yaudra. Yes. Defend yourself? I wouldn't be here if I didn't know how to defend myself. Good point, good point. Uh, wait. What about heroes? Huh? Oh, right. Yeah. In this world of powers and whatnot, you, you do, uh, have to, you know, regulate them. So yeah, I think they have heard something about Hero Society. What about it? Would you like to be one? No. W why? Too many restrictions. Boring. I can't keep no trophies. Technically, you can know I need some skulls mounted on my wall. I need achievements. However, that there is this one person I've learned about who has piqued my interest. Really? Really? Who? Eh, it's just a hero. No one hero here, I believe. Uh, it's in, uh, All Might? Oh, wait, so you, you idolize him? So no. <laughs> oh, no, no. That's cute. No, no, no not at all. That's, that's not why he's on my radar. It's because how strong he is. I think he'd be more than worthy as prey for me to, you know, boost my achievements. I got impressed. I got some people to impressed. When the season shows up. What? Oh, you know, just, oh. Oh. why'd you hit me? I love you, Izuku, but as your mom, or at least your Yauja mother, I do not want to hear about you trying to pick up women. What? Inko looking at Izuku, like, what are you talking about pick up? Well... See, well, because us, the ones with the best kills and the most achievements, are the ones who, you know, uh, get the most action. That's on their genes, you know, bloodline thing and whatnot. No. Yes. He's too young to think about that. Well, he is an adult in our culture, so. As much as I, yes, I understand that he is still, is there an adult? I don't want to hear about him wanting to mate as of yet. I'm too young to be a grandmother. You! Actually... Well, hmm. Uh, I'm so conflicted. I want to 
you know, support him in his endeavors, but I don't want him to kill anyone. You're gonna be like that, Mom. Inko, I'll call you. No, please call me Mom. Even if you call me Human Mom, just please. I need to hear it. Oh, oh dear. Fine. <clears throat> well, if I could just kill villains. I mean, the breaking of the law anyway is, hey, I don't have any quirk to really be regulated. And, yeah, it, it could help. Uh, lessen the, the crime rate. I don't know what to say. Just please say yes. Please say you won't try to sabotage me, snitch on me, or anything that could get me in some deep crap. I, I, I don't know how I should respond to that. Listen, human mama, I just want to, to build more of a reputation. Hell, I would love to track down some bad bloods to kill, but when it comes to the, them, they're pretty much, how should I say this, mm, wanted everywhere. Excuse me? You see, regular Yaoja, like me and mom and my brothers, follow a strict moral honor code. Bad bloods are the ones who do dishonorable things, like killing women and children who, at least people who are defenseless. Wait, so what if a woman picks up a weapon and starts taking you, THEN SHE'S FAIR GAME! What about a child? Uh, it being a child would... I don't think it was... I don't think it would count as fair game. If anything, that, that'll just make me feel sad. What, what, what else are you not allowed to, to do? Well, like I said, people who can't defend themselves, especially because of people who are sick and defenseless. I mean, Bernacle fights are still considered. Uh, but at the end of the day, we can't, you also can't take anyone's kills. We can't steal anyone else's trophies. And if we survive the detonation process of our self-destruct, Device, yeah, that's a big no-no too. Especially if our technology gets into the hands of you humans. You're human too! Oh yeah, it's easy for me to forget that. Oh, can you do me this one favor? I'll humor you. Can you at least go to high school? Uh, I school. Why would I? Oh, my will be there. Excuse me. Yes, All Might will be there. You won't be able to kill him, but if anything else, you can try to convince him to fight you. drive a hard bargain. I can respect that. Uh, it'll, it'll be too too bad for me to take some one out who's so important. Oh, oh well. Plus there's other uh, Potential heroes, children. Well, you're your child too. The hell I am. Ah, da, 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 da. 
in our culture, you are still a child. And there's your an adult. Bam, touche. So what, I, I just joined this high school. Well, first you have to, you know, pass the entrance exam.